Over time, most organizations have built complex data centers, complete with lots of powerful servers, networking, storage, and so on. These data centers make it possible to service the ever-growing demands of the business, and in most cases, they are completely controlled by an internal IT group. As organizations grow and evolve, applications and services need to be added and modified as well. Typically, adding applications and services to the data center involves time and lots of process. To begin, the business and IT gather requirements and create a plan. Then budgets need to be established and funded. From there, hardware and software are ordered, then everyone waits. Once everything arrives, IT builds the systems, installs operating systems and applications along with any required patches, they test everything, make any needed modifications, then they retest everything. The business is then asked to test and approve the new system, and finally, it's deployed for business use. From start to finish, the whole process is time consuming. Many of you have probably personally experienced similar process challenges when you wanted to watch a movie at home. First, you drove to the video store or other rental location, searched for what you wanted to watch, and hoped it was available. As technology changed over time, you also had to make sure your selection was in the right format. Was that VHS, DVD, or Blu-ray, so that it would match the player that you had at home? You also needed to consider the screen size. Did you want full screen or widescreen? Maybe you weren't even sure what shape worked best on your TV. Once you made all the decisions and found something you wanted, hopefully in the right format, you returned back home to enjoy the movie. In the end, it took a lot of time and effort simply to watch a movie. Fortunately, technology has advanced, and now you can satisfy your movie needs much quicker and much easier. Today, you can simply use your remote control, browse the choices available on one of several cloud-based movie services, make your choice, and instantly the movie is streamed to you on your choice of devices. Your request is provisioned quickly, and the technical dependencies are taken care of for you in the background. Similar technological advances are available in the IT world to transform how you provision new applications and services for your organization. Cloud computing is a whole new way to consume applications and services over the internet in a self-service fashion with a transparent pay-as-you-go pricing model. You may be familiar with some of the available types of public cloud computing that serve different functions. First, there are SaaS or Software as a Service cloud offerings like Google Apps or Salesforce.com. SaaS vendors provide remote, outsourced access to applications that are owned, delivered, and managed remotely by one or more providers and they're typically accessed via a web browser. Some applications are free, but most require you to pay a subscription fee to access them. There are also PaaS, or Platform as a Service Cloud offerings, like Microsoft's Azure, Force.com, or Google App Engine. Platform as a Service vendors offer a platform in the form of a development environment running on a cloud infrastructure for you to build custom applications and websites tailored to your specific business needs. Lastly, there are IaaS, or Infrastructure as a Service vendors. Amazon's EC2 Cloud and Rackspace are two of the leaders in this space. IaaS vendors effectively sell you IT compute capacity on a timed basis. You pay for the amount of capacity you need for the length of time you need it. However, in all three of these cases, the consumer does not manage nor do they control the underlying cloud infrastructure. Before we go much further, we need to discuss a key enabling technology that makes cloud computing possible, and that is virtualization. Not too many years ago, everything in the data center was tied to physical servers. You started with a physical server, installed an operating system, the OS was configured specifically for that unique hardware setup. For example, if you took out the hard drive and plugged it into a different machine, it likely wouldn't boot correctly. Next you installed an application, which was also tightly coupled to the operating system. In essence, every element was tied to the one below it. Then virtualization came along and made it possible to package the operating system, applications, and any data into an image or a workload and abstract it from the underlying hardware. By decoupling the workload from the hardware, the virtualized images became portable and also reusable. These workloads can now be easily moved from one virtual host to another. Virtualization and this new portability not only changed the way applications and services were deployed in data centers, they also made it possible to easily move workloads to the cloud. For example, if my data center was short on capacity, I could now choose to deploy my workload outside of my data center, perhaps at Amazon or at Rackspace. I would simply pay them for the capacity I needed for as long as I needed it. 
Virtualization and cloud computing technologies have created new and exciting options for provisioning applications and managing capacity in the public cloud. While all of that sounds great, is it too good to be true? The new cloud computing paradigm certainly offers flexibility and agility for delivering applications and business services, but with all the promise comes a few challenges. Is the public cloud secure? Will I still be in compliance with any applicable regulations? Can I meet my SLAs? And will the business actually be comfortable with an outsourced public model? Wouldn't it be great if you could get all those public cloud benefits, such as flexibility, agility, pay-as-you-go pricing, and so forth, in your own data center in a private cloud, leveraging the infrastructure you already own and operate without the security concerns or even the risk of being out of compliance with corporate policy? With Novell Cloud Manager, you can capture the benefits of cloud computing by quickly building a secure and manageable private cloud. Thank you for watching our Chalk Talk, and to learn more, please visit our website.